Hi, I'm Jonathan Gallimore with Tommy Tribe, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate a recent vulnerability in Tomcat. This particular vulnerability is known as a remote code execution or RCE vulnerability. And in this specific case, I'm going to show you this vulnerability whereby you can set a particular setting on the default servlet in Tomcat, and that will enable an attacker to remotely execute any arbitrary code that they want to on your server. So the vulnerability in question I've got up here on the screen in Safari at the moment. Um, this website, if you're not familiar with it, is the National Vulnerability Database. Um, this is a particularly useful resource when you're looking at uh, specific vulnerabilities. Uh, so if you are looking at an issue that has a CVE prefix on it, um, there's usually some detail in this database. Uh, and so you'll get things like a description, a severity score, and then some references to other information, such as solutions and tools. And in the case of this particular vulnerability, there's actually, you'll notice there's actually a link to a site called exploitdb.com here, which has a Python script that we can actually execute against a, a Tomcat server to see if it's vulnerable or not. If you are going to use this script, please do ensure that you have permission from whoever is running the Tomcat server that you're uh, going to point it at. So in my case, I'm going to test this against the Tomcat running locally on my machine. So I did just mention that there is a configuration setting that uh, is involved here. And this configuration setting is on something called the default servlet. And so if you're not aware of this, uh, this is the sort of top level servlet that is responsible for handling things like static resources and serving those up out of Tomcat. Um, you'll notice here that there is a parameter called read only. So this particular parameter de determines whether or not the default servlet can accept commands such as post, put, and delete. Um, and this enables this servlet to effectively receive uploads and to remove files as, as well as to as well as to get them to serve them up to the end user. Uh, read only is set to true by default, but if you are setting it to false for any reason, such as because a particular application running in Tomcat requires it, um, then this is this is the setting to check for because. Um, setting read only to false will potentially allow someone to upload something that you don't want to the server. So if I go ahead and start the server up, uh, I, you, what I will now do is run the Python script. So you can see here that I'm running the uh, exploit.py and providing my own Tomcat installation, port 8080 is the URL to use. And then there's this minus P flag on the end here. So this is going to attempt to upload a web shell to the server and, and run it. So if I go ahead, um, you can see it says uploading web shell. And now I've got, a, I've got a prompt here that I can type some commands into. So for example, if I type in LS, uh, it will give me the directory listing of the Tomcat server. I can pull back some uh, information so I could do a uname, for example, and see exactly what the server is actually running on. So here you can see it's running on my MacBook Pro. So I'm obviously running some fairly just arbitrary commands here, um, but I could do things like use this to read the server configuration files. And if you've got things like database connections defined in there, then I could then potentially use the information for the database connection to actually connect through to the database and for example steal the data in the database and upload that somewhere i could also use this to deface the website i could use it to to, to bring the site down or i could use this as a jumping off point to further penetrate into into the network so this is quite a nasty vulnerability to have um, so as I mentioned, the uh, exploit works by uploading a uh, malicious JSP. Um, so let's go and take a look at what the content of that JSP actually is. 
So in this particular case, it's being uploaded to the root web app. And you can see what the JSP is doing here is it's reading the command to execute from the request parameter, uh, running the actual command, and then streaming the response back through to the Python script. So each command that I run here is actually creating a HTTP request off to the server with the command to run and getting the, the response for that command back on the, on the uh, HTTP response. So in order to mit mitigate against this particular issue, uh, do check the read only parameter against the default servlet and also ensure that you're running the latest version of Tomcat. CVE mitigation is included in our enterprise support subscriptions. Through our partnership with Sonatype, we scan your Tomcat, Tommy, and ActiveMQ versions and notify you as CVEs are discovered. Working collaboratively, we help you determine if your application is affected and what the appropriate reaction should be. And we create and deliver patch binaries so you're fully protected. To learn more, visit us at www.tommytribe.com forward slash CVE.